Miss Kitty Tang. Um, we are our company in Dapples, and uh, it was founded in 1999 by Nick Swinburne. Um, it all started when he um, went shopping in at a mall in San Francisco, and he was trying to, he was looking for a pair of shoes, and he couldn't find the right pair, so because they didn't have his color or size, so. Um, he was frustrated at the end of the day, so one day he decided to quit his day job and start his own uh, online retailer, shoe retailer, which became Zappos.com. And now the CEO of Zappos is Tony Se. And um, so Zappos offers um, a shoe, uh, they sell shoes, bags, clothing, clothing and accessory. And um, they, they have a wide variety of um, colors, brands, sizes, colors, and everything. And they're also big on customer service, so they try to um, provide fast delivery for their customers. And um, they also join with Amazon because they share the same passion for uh, customer service. And um, the organizational culture of Zappos is results-oriented. Um, there are also many other um, aspects that lead to this dimension, and these are pragmatic, openness, use, and employee-oriented culture. Um, all these aspects come together to create the result-oriented culture. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Ryan Australia, and uh, I'm be speaking today about pragmatic culture at Zappos. Um, pragmatic culture, the definition of it is a culture that is very market driven and they put high emphasis on their customers. Well, for them being market driven, they need to connect with their customers uh, on, a mo on, a, on an emotional basis. This is because they're primarily, or they're solely a e-commerce business, so everything is through the phone. So which is why they need to emphasize the customer's needs and they do this by providing the best customer service as possible. And by doing that, According to the records, one caller called for about 10 hours straight and the, the representative spoke to them about how life was at headquarters in Las Vegas and they just had a good time. And towards the end, they actually got to sell a really expensive pair of Ugg boots, which is pretty good for the company. And lastly, they want to deliver the wow factor to their customers. Because they are uh, primarily a an e-commerce business, they kind of um, customers kind of hesitate to order shoes online because they can't fit them right away. <coughs> and this is so what they do is they offer free shipping and free shipping on all their products, as well as uh, free return with a full refund. So customers don't have to be scared to purchase shoes that don't fit them. And Uh, my name is Benjamin. I'll be talking about the openness and culture that Zappos has. So according to Hofstede, uh, one of their dimensions is an open culture, which means that uh, they are very welcoming of new employees. So it's said that uh, they believe almost anyone would fit into an organization. It would only take a couple of days for them to feel like it was at home. Um, they begin by saying or trying to imply or insist that fun atmosphere. Um, so, by doing that, you can see from these pictures that some people have, have decorated their offices and cubicles, trying to make it very comfortable and feel at home, which ultimately becomes like a family. So within their family, they have actually different sections, as you can't really see it here, but they have different sections within their office as teams or families, so they can have a, a relationship with one, one another. Um, and also, they also have a... Um, a fun and little weird type of culture. So they like to be very outgoing, so it'll ease the tension. Not everyone will be awkward all the time. Yeah. And then uh, lastly, they all have an open and honest relationship. This is very important because they don't want people to be afraid of making mistakes. They want everyone to be really confident about what they do and don't want to like be scared to do something that's out of the ordinary.
Um, another thing that um, Zappos have is a loose culture. Um, they have what's called the 80-20 rule, which allows employees to work on their actual work 80% of the time, and rest of the 20 is to pursue their passion. Um, they take passion as a really important essence to their work because whoever that whoever that is passionate about anything, whether it's to take a class, work out, or take a nap, will um, help them positively to bring everybody else be passionate about their own stuff. Um, so they provide chill out room as well as nap room and game room so they can use it while that work during that 20% of um, share that they are allowed to do whatever they want to do. And they also have, um, they also do a lot of office jokes and pranks. Um, this is because it's going to allow employees to be more innovative and it will bring them more ideas to work. Um, now I'm Jonathan. I'm talking about how the how, how the Zappos has a strong employee oriented employee culture. Um, in order for them to have their employees commit back to them, the employee, the employers have to commit to them. So they have provided some health care and welfare programs to the employers employees. Um, they have plans like something for their vision. Um, they have like two steps like a base plan or a buy up plan. Base plan would be just to have healthy checkups now and then, and then buy a plan to be for those who have contacts or glasses, and it, they can use it to buy a new pair or new or anything new. And then they also have a dental plan for the, for the for the employees. It consists of two free exams and three cleanings, but also a two thousand dollar deductible of um, covering major and basic basic um, operations on their teeth. And the other things would be their events that they have. For example, how it shows that they're an uh, open culture. Their events for Halloween, they open up their doors for people to come in and enjoy, and they turn their office space into a giant maze for the for the whole for everyone for the public to come in. And then also they have they have um, also picnics for for um for one for their employees to go out and then just build a positive team. And family spirit, which is also one of their ten cores. And then, in conclusion, in order for Zappos to be so successful, they need to commit to their employees, so the employees can commit back. And then, this would all also guarantee that the company would have a strong support culture with better performance, and morale, and good work ethics. Thank you. Done, right? Yes.